see any good progression from day one to now day two? Do you see what you see any things you like? Yeah, I think the most important thing is that the uh, the attitude and the effort is uh, is good. Um, obviously, with the installation uh, and the tempo in which we're practicing, we're, all, we're swimming mentally a little bit, which is to be expected. And that's not really, you know, that's not really where we're holding them the most accountable. To me, is, is we, we, we're just trying to amp the effort which we play with and the attitude uh, that we conduct ourselves with. Coach, you've talked about your philosophy and how you want to play defense. Do you have a sense yet whether you have the personnel to do what you want to do as far as an attacking style? Uh, we'll be okay if we play two below the waist. So that, that's all we've done up to this point. You know, we, we really won't know what we have until starting Saturday. You know, I almost look at these two practices and just helmets as um, sort of just a kind of like a study review session. You know, it gets real on Saturday. So the guys have the, the basics of the defense in, and now they got to be able to operate when the physicality ramps up uh, when the pads come on. Do you have a sense for their understanding? Do they have a lot of questions still? Do they sort of get what you want already, or is this going to be a, a Well, what process? happens is you get it, you know, you there's there's a level where you think you know, and there's a level where you know you know. And, and, uh, and, and realistically, we don't expect them to be fully understanding exactly everything that we're doing. We, we, we understand it's going to be a process. Um, and in a way, what we're just trying to tell them is we're trying to keep it simple just to get them where they can function um, in the basics of our defense and, and certainly in the things that are the, that are the, the most different. What we're, we're really trying to do is this. We're not trying to make this thing about scheme. We're really trying to make this about the personnel we have because all we've heard about is about scheme, scheme, scheme. The scheme's not going to save us. The accountability has got to go to the personnel we have. And the first thing we've got to find out is whether our players are good enough or not good enough. See, they, they, they've kind of walked around as if they really weren't the problem. And, and some of them may be and some of them may not be. So that, that's really what this spring is about exposing is who really is good enough to be here to get you know Miami to where we all think it should be. Well, along those that, lines, if the personnel is not good enough, do you adjust what you want them to do in the scheme you had envisioned to, to fit that? Well, there's, the, it, it's the, the, the issue of adjusting the scheme. If you can't cover, you can't cover. You can't you know play long scrimmage. You can't play long scrimmage. You know we, we you can you can do what you can try to do to hide that. But the number one thing we is just recruit. You got you got to out recruit what you have, and uh, and and that's where we've got to get that message out to the the defensive kids here in South Florida that uh, if what we have isn't what we need it to, to be, then we we got to get better. You've had about six weeks to look at your roster now since National Signing Day. Do you have a sense of whether you have enough uh, in your defensive backfield, especially at corner? It seems like you know for, not not a lot of experience at the very least. Yeah, for sure we'll be we'll be green on the back end, but uh, but some of the younger guys have, have made some steps. Uh, it's still it's still early in this part, but I, I think I think we have a little bit of competition back there. I think I think we've got I think we have some contestants of guys that might be able to help us um, in the fall. I just, I, I'm look, really curious to see how they respond here in the next couple of weeks.